All right, so I was hesitant making this video, right? Because I'm a gatekeeper, but I'm about to put y'all on game, right? This is game for my intermediate to advanced level pimps, right? If you're beginner in your pimping, you're not really confident, you're not really strong in your pimping, you go watch, take notes, but don't try to execute this just yet, right? So I'm about to introduce y'all to the concept I like to call the drive-by compliment. It's a three or four day scheme, you feel me? That is, is going to break the ice. It's advanced pimping. Just watch, right? This is day one. Go like this. You see in shorty that you were scared to talk to, you hit her with this one right here. She passed you coming this way or she's sitting over there. You're like, yo, I like your shoes. She's going to hit you with a thank you, right? That's it. Just walk away. Next day, look, peak game. You see shorty, head nod. That's it. No, ver yo, look, look at me. No verbal second day, right? Third day, pimping. You hit her with the, yo, I like your tea, by the way. Yo, you don't have to like the tea. You feel what I'm saying? You just, you just breaking the ice, you feel what I'm saying? So you already like her shoes, gave her the head nod, now you like the tea. You be like, oh, you be dressing for real. Hit her with, you know, a little joke, you playing with shorty, right? She gonna be like, oh yeah, thank you, whatever, 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 right? Next day, walk away, yo, just see shorty, head nod, keep it pushing, right? This the last day, this when you, this when you certify your pimping, you feel what I'm saying? You hit shorty, be like, yo, you always be throwing that stuff on for real. Where you get your clothes at? You don't care where she get her clothes at. But you know she's gonna tell you, like, yo, by the way, my name is XYZ. What's your name? Because then you go ask her for the gram ski. You go ask her for the number. You go ask. Nah, this some real because, you know, when I was in school and stuff like that, I was doing this, but I wasn't doing it intentionally. You know, you just flirting and stuff like that, but it's a process. And then eventually what happens is the girl starts to show a little interest to the point where you just know, okay, I can get her. And then you squeeze in and then you go in for the kill. It's really that simple, bro. You know, giving them a little slight compliments and things of that, nothing too much, nothing over the top. But like when I saw this video, I said, damn, that's how I got a lot of girls back in the day. Real talk. Y'all might want to try this one because it breaks the ice and it's not like you're walking in a mall and this is for settings that these people are like regulars you know it might be a coffee shop it might be the gym it could be a library at your school you're gonna see these familiar faces but uh it'll work y'all i promise you i think a sweet spot is between 30 to 35 because your frontal lobe has congealed you've already had at least one or two mistakes or children but you're not totally stuck in your ways you're not stuck in your ways yet so you're uh, mushy you're not malleable like clay wow that's clay. not manipulative at all <laughs> they don't have the camera <laughs> a lot of men have to be deprogrammed. Perfect example, when Jay-Z went to therapy, all he talks about is the deprogramming that took place because he was about to you know, lose his family. There's a deprogramming that all men who understand what misogyny is have to go through to be good dudes. I want to be the person who's like, hey, I'm not going to judge you because society did this to you, but are you open to being a better person? Once they hit a certain age, they decide, I'm going to die on this hill. I want to mm. find a, a man who's open-minded before he dies on that hill. Now, yeah. can you find them older? Yes, but they're usually married, and that's called being a mistress. Do you think society has done the same thing to women? We're fighting for equality. Equality means that we're trying to have what the men have. We're also inheriting some of the toxic traits. Like? Well, thinking that your money absolves you of having to have accountability, feelings, or compassion. That part. That used to be a masculine thing, but now that we're as equally industrious and have the same rights, we're inheriting the bad stuff too. Ooh. Not everything your grandma did was bad. This dude was like, what that mouth do? I said, pray. He was like, what type of time you on? I said, God's time. <laughs> Bro, get you some money, you're gonna feel different. You, Straight up. It might, you might even, all that other advice I could have gave you, this is the short version. You know, get you a couple dollars, man. You're gonna feel different. Man, all right, P to Nipsey Hustle, man. And I promise you, bro, you get you some money, you definitely gonna be a different version of yourself. What it does is this, right? It gives you confidence on top of that, which other things can give you confidence. But here's the thing, right? When you have money and you have the ability to live life on your own terms, it brings a different vibe to the equation man people treat you differently when they know you got money right you can go to a restaurant right and let's say you get excellent service the bill comes out to be a hundred dollars you leave the waiter a forty dollar tip they're gonna remember who the f you are the next time you come in there and guess what they're gonna be fighting to wait on you again the service is gonna be top notch again you go in there with a shorty and they're greeting you by your name and stuff like that now nah, they like damn who this man is you see what i'm saying like bro having money is a different ball game right and if you get in that gym and you got a nice body too you get your you get your fronts fixed that rotten tooth in the back of your your mouth you 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 take care of that man you in there you gonna talk to women from a standpoint of you would be lucky to be around a man like me as opposed to i would be lucky to be with a woman like you how old you is 22 
What you do for a living? I uh, work at former mills and uh. <laughs> it's an evil world we live in. But hey, I'm gonna keep living. Don't laugh. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I, got, I got a job. What's right? Like what? What's wrong with that? Social media has made it to the point where women, as far as like age-wise, if they're like 25 and under, right? They no longer want a good man, bro. They want a scammer, a dope boy, a trap boy, whatever you want to call them, right? Somebody that's beating the block. That's what they want, bro. It is what it is. And if not, you got to be like a social media influencer, somebody with clout. But the regular blue collar guy, the one that's taking up welding as a trade, a plumber, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that sells cars and stuff like that for a living, they not checking for dudes with regular nine to fives no more, bro. It is what it is, man. I don't know how we can reverse it, but it just goes to show you how powerful social media really is because guess what the only reason why they doing that is because they got their cue for women like jade away to dating baby ari dating money bag yo you got people like um cardi b and offset and stuff like that they look at that and see that as real life gold but that's not going to be the reality for 99 percent of women the reality for y'all is that y'all gonna date these nine to five guys that's what's gonna happen but the thing is y'all are ruining your life because y'all are all going after the same bottom one percent or top one percent guys in that age bracket if he's 22 years old and he's making 20 30 thousand dollars a month he's doing something either a scamming trapping selling drugs whatever or he got money from social media or he's a basketball player either way these guys are all highly sought after by the top women by the time y'all get ran through because guess what if i'm 22 with 30 million i got plenty of women that's just how i'm rocking straight like that so by the time i do want to settle down it ain't gonna be one of you jump offs and by the time y'all want to settle down the 22 year olds who had to really grind for the last 10 years when they 32 they're not gonna feel like you're worthy of being with them so it's all messed up it got the ecosystem all out of whack but guys i'm here to tell you man these women i don't know why you would want them 10 years from now but don't even trip because guess what man life gonna knock them upside their head man when they get pregnant by all these dudes who ain't gonna take care of the kids when they when they got trust issues when they have all this toxic stuff that they gotta deal with and carry because of the men they chose to lay down with they're gonna come running to you and you cannot act like captain save a hoe bro straight like that fun fact I have a date in five hours and I haven't heard from him in 24 hours. So I guess I ain't got no date. I guess it's a quiet Saturday night for me. The dating pool has piss in it, like pee. You know, a lot of assumptions can be made from this video, but I'm going to go ahead on and say he found another date. It is what it is, man. Somebody else that he was more attracted to. Don't act like y'all don't do the same thing. Y'all do the exact same thing as women. If a guy you ain't never been on a date with and another guy who you have been on a date with, maybe y'all have even become intimate. You're going to go with the sh for sure thing over the non for sure thing. That's just how human nature is. But, you know, if anybody putting piss in the dating pool is definitely the females. You know, men trying to, out, we out here fighting for the scraps. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get to pick what y'all pick. It's easier for y'all, in my opinion. Y'all sit back and just watch the guys shoot their shots. The guy got to build up the courage, had a confidence to make the approach. Y'all ain't got to do none of that. Y'all just got to sit up there and just, mm-hmm, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like, that sounds great. Yeah, you want to say what? At 7 o'clock? All right, cool. We can meet there. That's all y'all doing. Y'all not doing nothing. The guy f what I bought him a pair of sheets. For real? Just so I can be comfortable when yeah. like, okay. in his house. Yep. Because somebody f on those sheets. Mm. Every woman went the over there and was like, these ain't good sheets. Right. Them sheets would have been changed. Mm. It's but our fault. All this <laughs> Yeah, now that you said that though, I'm about to start buying niggas new sheets. Yeah. That's yeah. a good gift. Yeah. Cause I never really thought good about that. Good wash cloth. No, you know what I'm saying? No. You can't worry about that. Like, Damn, I love now I gotta buy a new pair of sheets. I think that is another good single woman. I thought this was so we got mattresses. She's well, she has said a gun, a gun, and that's a good one. Oh, I'm scared of guns. You don't have you need one. one of, yes, no, you I, need I got one. a gun in my house. <laughs> Niggas out here watching. Yeah, I got a gun. Hold that nigga. Run up and get it. <laughs> up. I'm gonna get a gun tomorrow. All right. <laughs> but you definitely need that in your house. I bought my first pistol when I moved to Atlanta. Have you ever shot For anybody? Real? No, I can't wait though. <gasps> Have you ever had a pull? Ma'am, if that's the case, if somebody smashed on the sheets, I mean, didn't don't that mean they smashed on the bed, on the mattress, in the room, in the house? Come on, man. The logic ain't logic in. If that's the case, buy the man a whole house. <laughs> Somebody was walking through that butt ass nigga before you got there. What you gonna do about that? You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, women be thinking they talking about something and it don't be nothing, bro, at all. <laughs>